What's going on everybody? Tough, tough Tuesday night in the world of Iowa State Athletics, specifically the men's basketball program. Uh, Greg McDermott announced that Luca Steiger has quit the team. Luca going to go back to Germany to play some professional basketball and make a little money while doing it. All right, I know you're all wanting some thoughts on this. Everybody is pretty emotional right that right now. A good friend of mine, uh, somebody I really respect in the media, always tells me, Chris, when you're emotional, the best thing you could do is step away from the computer, step away from the keyboard, in this case the video camera, and come back well, while your mind is a little more fresh. You might say or write something you don't regret. I'm not going to go off here. Uh, I'm not. I mean, uh, I'm, you guys are doing that. I'm on, I'm on CycloneFanatic.com right now, and we got everything. We have everything from, uh, you know, people obviously upset with Luca. We have fanatics who are upset with Coach McDermott. Uh, we have some fanatics who are, are doing what I think everybody should be doing is saying support this team. Uh, the guys go to Texas Tech. They're already down in Lubbock uh, for a Big 12 game. And, and what Coach McDermott said in his teleconference tonight, he said, hopefully this pulls this team together even more. And it, that's what it should do to the fan base right now. Going off right now at this point in time, it, it's not helping. You know, what you what you write on CycloneFanatic.com, that's not going to affect if Iowa State wins or loses against Texas Tech on, on Wednesday night. But the, the negativity towards each other is just not needed. You know, um, use that energy, use that fuel to support this basketball team. Uh, because it, it's, it's, not, it, it's hurting right now. You know, I mean, here's a guy who, I, I was on Matt and Miller earlier today, and I, I mentioned Lucas Steiger as part of the cornerstone of the great McDermott era and what it will ultimately look like in Iowa State basketball. And and he's gone. And that's the thing, guys. I had a couple people email me. say, said, hey, did you know this was coming? I have no idea. Nobody had any idea. McDermott didn't have any idea. None of those guys had any idea. This completely knocked their socks off tonight. It did me too. I I had a night planned where I wasn't going to, um, I wasn't even going to think about Iowa State just for one night only. And, and I got called in the middle of a movie. And then this thing came out of nowhere. And getting down on this team and writing off the season, you don't need to do it. One, because it's not over. You know, it, it's it's absolutely not over. Two, you got a lot of guys out there. That, you're going to tell Craig Brackens it's over. And tell Marquez Gilstrap it's over. Those are the guys I feel sorry for right now. Those are the guys who have shown up to practice, they're working hard, and they still have a dream of playing in an NCAA tournament. Those are the guys who I really feel sorry for at this hour. As for Lucas Steiger, uh, it's tough. You know, I mean, his, his release that he sent out, we have it on our forums, and it says that it's something along the lines of he, he knows it's bad timing, it's really bad timing, Luca. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's no need to throw hatred out toward the young man. Um, yeah, it stinks for Iowa State. It stinks for all of you. Uh, but I guess you got to wish Lucas Steiger the best. Uh, we wish for an Iowa State victory against Texas Tech. I still think it's very possible. I think this is going to be a case where these guys are going to be so inspired to go out and play a, a great basketball game. I think they will. I hope they will. Uh, the now, the thing that we have to watch here over the next 24 hours, what does Greg McDermott do? Does he pull a red shirt? Uh, there's been all the talk about Chris Colvin. Will he bump the suspension up? It's tough because McDermott put a time limit on there. He said until February. Uh, so it, it's tough to do that. But he also, the, the good thing is that McDermott's been very complimentary of Colvin and everything Colvin's been doing, been doing everything right. Um, so that could come into it. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I apologize. I just threw a jacket on. I haven't shaved. My hair's not done. I apologize, but, you know, a news break, we want to get it out to you as soon as possible at CycloneFanatic.com. I appreciate everybody and your, and your passion on the website. It's great. That's what, that's what makes us have the, the best website as far as Iowa State goes. And in the entire world, I'm convinced it's, it's the fanatics who just do, who 
really just have a ton of passion for Iowa State. That's what it's all about. Uh, thanks for staying up if you're watching this on Wednesday morning. Um, sorry we didn't have better news for you to wake up to. Uh, we'll have better news tonight, though, when Iowa State knocks off Texas Tech and is 2-1 of the Big 12 heading into Saturday's game with Kansas. Take care, everybody. Chris Williams with CycloneFanatic.com.